Ear infections are one of the common problems that pediatricians see in their offices. The first, acute otitis media, means an ear infection of the middle ear. Otitis means ear, media means middle. These oftentimes occur in children who are very young and have respiratory illnesses, the common cold, for example. Unfortunately, in addition to the ear pain, children will have fever, vomiting, diarrhea, and sometimes refusal to eat. Treatment of ear infections requires both pain control with acetaminophen and ibuprofen, and antibiotics given by mouth, such as amoxicillin. It would be nice if we could prevent ear infections, but that's not always the case. If you can avoid propping a bottle, avoid cigarette smoke, keeping children out of daycare, you'll have a better chance that you won't have an ear infection. The second type of ear infection that we frequently see in the office is otitis externa. Otitis means ear and externa means outer. This type of ear infection is common in warm weather climates such as Florida, where children are often swimming year round. A reason to be seen for ear infections is the ear pain that keeps a child up at night, a child who's unable to function during the daytime because of persistent pain, or a child with high fever and unknown source of infection. Ear infections of this type oftentimes present with pain on movement of the outer ear. Treatment requirement is Tylenol or Motrin for pain relief and antibiotic anti-inflammatory ear drops. Prevention of ear infections of this type require wicking away the excess water using a Kleenex.